Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making a quick tutorial on how you can get your wallpaper to match any, um, basically your setup. So if you have a like green and blue PC, or if you have something like that, a red PC, and you want to use this wallpaper that's like purple and blue and yellow, we can go and make it whatever color. This works on pretty much any wallpaper out there, as long as you've got enough colors to sort of st uh, start with. Uh, if it's only one color, it's going to be a lot trickier to make it into multiple colors. But uh, you can use it on pretty much any wallpaper. I would recommend it's mostly abstract or like space wallpapers because other wallpapers, like if you try to change the color on those, they aren't gonna look very good. Like imagine just like a landscape with like purple grass and like a green sky, like. You know, it, it's kind of cool, but like, and you know, it's cool in fantasy worlds where like people actually do it professionally, but I feel like when you just Photoshop it like that, especially if you're just doing like, like changing the colors, it does not look very good at, at all. So the first thing we're going to do is just change it all to one color, which is the easiest thing you can do. All you want to do is you want to go and create a hue saturation adjustment layer. And as you can see, we can go and play around with the hue, but that looks weird because all the colors are still going to be uh, the same in relation to each other, so it's you're not going to be able to get the, the right combination you might want. But if you do want a single color view, you can click this colorize button right here. That colorizes it, but as you can see, it's like this really dirty like, gray color. So you just want to pump the saturation up. And then you, you might want to maybe decrease the, the brightness and so you can go in here and basically make any color of the rainbow um, if you <laughs> really wanted to uh, go to the next level you could uh, animate this into a gif and make an rgb <laughs> and then find a way to use that as your background maybe with like wallpaper engine or something <laughs> but yeah uh, so you can use this and that makes your wallpaper any single color but say you don't just want a single color say you want two colors we got you. All you gotta do is you gotta go to your curves. Now there are limitations to this, um, and you can get around these limitations, but those are going to take a lot more time and effort, I'm not gonna go over that. Um, if you wanna learn how to do that, um, it's not super hard to figure out, but it's just, it's time consuming. So, as you can see with the curves, what we can do is we can adjust like, the lightness and stuff of the color. You might think, how does that make anything work oh <laughs> whatever but what we can do is we can go in here say we don't want any blue all we have to do is take this high point right here we're gonna drag it all the way down all the way down to the bottom and then boom no more blue in the color so it's just green red and yellow and those are all mixes of each other uh generally i wouldn't deal with mixed colors uh, what i would want what i would generally do is say oh i don't want any red let me take out the red let me get green and blue or say i don't want any blue or not, not blue. i don't want any red Wait, no i already did that i don't want any green and let me take out the green and then as you can see it's red and blue and purple but what if you don't want the purple so then we can go to our red colors and we also want to make this like not so uh washed out so we can just sort of lower this a little bit right here. Is that working? Uh, actually, we're gonna go on and go up here. We're gonna want to lower it from down here. Say and you can make a little bit of variation in this. Just sort of like play around with it until it looks good to you. And we can go to the blue. And we can just go to the blue. Okay. I'm gonna make it. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to like completely get rid of this over here. But one thing that you can do, um, if you want, is you can go and create another adjustment layer, curves. Can go and just take it out all of those and just go boom. But then what we're gonna do is you wanna click on this so it shows the layer mask right here. Uh, and then you wanna go and take your paintbrush and you wanna 
going to select to go black, the brush pretty big, and then what we can do is we can just, no, it's on the way to black, we can just essentially just paint this away over here. So now this is red, and over here is blue. What we can also do is we can go adjustments, say, uh, in our curves there, we can just go click on this again, and go to our red, we can bring that back up all the way, and we can go to our blue, bring that down all the way, and then go back to our layer mask, and what we can do is we can just sort of just like paint like this. And so you can kind of do this for any of the layers. You can even use like hue saturation if you, if there is no color there, and you want to make that, that color there, you can do that. But it is, it does take, it is kind of time consuming. So I would not really exactly recommend uh, spending all of the time to do that because it does take a long time and it's kind of tricky to get it perfect. But it does end up looking pretty good in the end. Anyways, this is just kind of a rough. Thing. Obviously, if you actually go in and do it, you're gonna want to make sure that it like you know go down and refine the brush, make it smaller until it like perfectly outlines the thing. Because as you can see around here, there's like some spots and some purple, and you don't necessarily want that. Although in this situation, it blends pretty well. But if you try to change the color too drastically, it may it really isn't gonna look too amazing. But yeah, so as you can see right here, purple. So and we have made it red. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know in terms of changing your wallpaper. Um, if you want to download this, uh, in, I will have a link in the description. Also, if you don't have Photoshop, don't worry, you don't have to pay for it. Uh, you can go and sign up for a free 7-day trial. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Photoshop or anything, right? I do actually use this though, it's very useful. Um, I just have a lot of accounts. <laughs> Because, I mean, I'm not paying $20 a month for this, but, you know, it's, so, if you need to get hold of Photoshop, definitely possible, even if you don't gotta uh, pay. And, so, basically, anyone can do this, make their wallpaper look nice, and match their setup. So, yeah, as you can see, this is what we started with, and we have got something like this. Which does it. Okay, well, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Alright, well, see you guys later. If you enjoyed this video, or if it helped you out choosing wallpaper, please consider giving this video a like, it would be much appreciated, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.